Okay, so uh, I've gotten quite a few requests for videos and one of them is uh, to show my coloring supplies. So without further ado, let's get into it and I'll try to give you kind of quick like... First up... Oh, <laughs> okay, we have a shoelace because... Um... <clears throat> anyway... <laughs> First off, we have my fine liners. There's... Um... Two main different sorts. There are these that are the Zena color. They were a set of like a hundred. I bought them on Amazon, kind of cheap. And then there are these Stadler fineliners. Those were like 36 set I bought in a shop. And those are the main, main ones. Then we have uh, the glossy accents. This is a new coloring supplies for me, kind of like that. Uh, definitely easy to go <laughs> bananas with it and use it too much. In this bowl I have a pen holder that I don't know how to use. <laughs> I think it doesn't match my actual pencils or something, I don't know, something is wrong. I love micron pens, you'll see quite a few of them. They're water resistant and come in like different sizes. Uh, what more do I use for coloring? Some brushes. They need to be in my brush um, holder. Where do I have that? Brush holder makes it look sound like I'm more organized than I am. But anyway, um, these I don't like. Uh, I only own one and I'm not using it. Uh, the Fabric Castell Metallics. Uh, what more do I have here? Uh, the rest are just crafting and pens and other stuff. Uh, I do have a pilot white gel pen. It's fine. Um, yeah, white gel pens on are my eternal enemies. I do have quite a few rubbers hidden throughout. I hope we'll find a few of them so I can put them into uh, a gathered gathered place, or like gather them together. I mean, and what more do I have here? Uh, Quite a few crafting items. Here's another bowl. Uh, I do like the um, jelly roll, white jelly roll. Don't love it, but it's fine. I have some more jelly rolls. Uh, some Stadler uh, fine liners. These are, uh, they are, I mean, the same to me. I don't really, I think I prefer the microns, but I don't know why. A silver jelly roll. I like my golden jelly rolls. Uh, I do have a few Posca pens. Let's see if we can gather them all together. I love my yellow Posca pens. I think quite a few have run out. Some extra pencils. Some uh, ink tents that I'm currently using, sort of. Uh, I like uh, Wink of Stella. I have a few. I bought like a set of five, I think. A few more. Uh, What's that called? Brush? Or is that the same brush maybe? <laughs> but it's a water brush, a Derwent Brought brush. I have a few different ones. Um, back when I started out, I bought a set of really cheap um, glitter gel pens and gel pens and all in all. Here is a set of uh, pastel gel pens that were new. I bought them on clearance. Another jelly roll. Yeah, bit of hair. Please ignore that. <laughs> Uh, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. So that's that. Moving on, we have. Um, let's see what more is coloring related here. We have a few Q-tips. Use these for um, uh, for my pastel pencils. Then we have the white. In Windsor and Newton ink, Windsor and Newton, yeah, that. <laughs> I really like this instead of gel pens. Uh, I apply it with a calligraphy set that I will be showing soon. Uh, then let's see, we have a Fabric Castell pencil sharpener. I like this one. Okay, speaking of pencil sharpeners, we have uh, a Lyra a mechanical pencil sharpener. Uh, this is a bit aggressive. The teeth here are a bit aggressive. They sort of have damaged my pencils, but that's fine. Um, mm, 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 mm. I have a Dervent 
eraser, which I like a lot. Uh, it's about the battery right now, and I'm too lazy to <laughs> go and change it, but I'm on my way. I have a little bowl of other pencil sharpeners that are a bit whatever. Let's add the erasers there. And, mm -mm. Let's see if I have anything more hidden here. As I said, I lot, have a lot of crafting things. Uh, but if I, I go ahead and show that as well, then we'll be here until Christmas. Uh, nothing here, I think. Nothing coloring related, at least. I mean, unless you count... Uh, I do ha I use uh, an X-Acto knife, I guess, for uh, sometimes when I use washi tapes. Uh, like, if you do washi tape and then you cut around so that you, get, you can use it as a... Uh, pattern I guess on clothing and stuff like that. I do like... what are these called in English? Ah, you know, you make circles with them. I really can't remember the word. <laughs> I don't use it that much. I usually just pick up a bowl, bowl or something, you know, round. Um, okay, this is... this. my whole desk is going to be a mess, isn't it? Uh, even more of a mess than usual. Okay, this pen, I need to find a place to put it, okay. Then we have more stuff over here. My set of uh, metallic paints, so this is uh, Gamsai Tambi, Kirotake Gamsai Tambi. Um, it's kind of a budget set of uh, metallic pens. I really like the white one, um, you can see the way it's used. I've, I've lost the lid. So they're a bit like dusty and have the cat hair in them, but uh, fine. My calligraphy set, I got this for Christmas or my birthday one year, I think. It's a really nice set. Uh, the things that came with it are these uh, inks and this uh, pen holder where you put in your nib. And a few different nibs and then I have bought a few more nibs. and. With those came another pen as well, which I have uh, used for the white ink, the Windsor and Youth ink. So, yeah. <laughs> That's how that goes. Uh, what more do we have here? Okay, so then we have some miscellaneous acrylic, I think this, yeah, acrylic paints. Uh, there's one gouache paint here as well, but the rest are acrylic. Uh, it's just a set. Haven't used those that much. Gel pens. Uh, all sorts of gel pens. These are, as I said when I started out coloring, I bought the Zena color set. They were like a set of 100 and they came quite damaged. Uh, like, I usually don't complain, but they were like leaking and... Uh, you know, all over the box and yeah. So I actually wrote and asked them what they could do about it and they sent me another set. So I started out coloring with like 200 gel pens. <laughs> and it's, I definitely haven't used all of them. A lot of them have dried. Uh, this was like years ago. So, but here are some that survived. And then I have a few like other uh, glitter gel pens that, you know, sometimes you can't walk by. I like these ones, the zebra gel pens. I bought them at uh, Academy Bokhandeln if you're living in Swedish, Sweden. They are really glittery. Like here is the, uh, if we take let's take like and compare just for fun's sake. Yeah, okay. So the other uh, glitter gel pen that's really popular is the Hybrid Dual Metallic which I have a set of somewhere here in the box. Mm, but like, if we take this uh, zebra gel pen and the hybrid, I really like, like they are, they are both, like the zebra one is definitely on par. It doesn't have that effect of like the glitter being another color. 
but it's uh, it's juicy as yeah. Uh, so that's the gel pens. Here we have my miscellaneous markers. So this is alcohol markers. We have uh, quite a few uh, Winsor & Neutral Pro markers, especially in greens. Uh, I went berserk one day and like was angry that I didn't have more greens, so I bought greens. Uh, then I have quite a few like peach colored ones uh, and a few like you know pale browns and so on. These are also these are the Spectrum Noir, which I don't like as much as the uh, Winsor & Newton ones. Um, but yeah, and then also I used to have a set of Adlibris um, budget alcohol markers. I don't recommend these. Uh, they sort of uh, are weird, <laughs> but three of them are still alive and kicking and I actually really like this color. Uh, it's kind of a red, red pink color, but it's not in your face. I don't know, I like it. Okay, so that looks here. I forgot my set of alcohol markers. So here's the bag. Uh, it's, I think it's a hundred different markers. They are uh, Pandora brand. So it's like a hobby brand from uh, downtown here. And uh, yeah, they have like a broad nip and uh, or a chisel tip, I mean and the normal bullet tip and uh, yeah they're quite nice uh, budget brand i i'm really bad at judging what markers are good or bad because like i haven't had that many but i'm uh, happy with these at least uh, so yeah oh yeah and i have them swatched out here in this way uh, and the extra markers you saw before are on this little extra sheet. And then I keep them in the same order as here, so I can easily find the color I want. Yeah, but that's as organized as I get. I do like have... it's organized chaos here on my desk, okay? It's, it's a mess and it's cluttered, but it's not uh, horrible. These are my only two sets of... Uh, uh, what's it called? Aquarelle. Uh, watercolors. I have a really old standard set here, basic set I guess. These were my mom, mom's actually, uh, and they're really old, but they are definitely doing their job anyway. I think uh, they're like the basic colors, so we have like ultramarine and the white one, uh, probably ochre, two different yellows, uh, I lost the green one, and yeah, and I don't really clean my sets. I like mixing in i like the way the colors become when they are a bit a bit, a bit messed up <laughs> uh so this is the other set i have these are the prima prima marketing it says oh yeah this is the uh, swatch set then these are the tropicals of prima marketing they look like this um yeah <laughs> and these are the colors then um, and the other ones, the basic ones, where these are the colors. So yeah, I keep this in here. Then we have, okay, moving on to my water-based markers, which I have over here. Oh no, something fell down. God knows what that was. Okay, so these are my water-based markers. Um, this is basically... Three big sets of like budget 100 each uh, markers. We have the these ones, which are the fibra colors. They are similar to uh, or the same, I think, as Crayola water Crayola super tips. I mean, these are really good. Like they come in a set of 100, uh, budget friendly. Um, I really like. Uh, the colors and they are uh, very go on the cap paper really smoothly and are wonderfully water soluble so uh, i think all in all i think these are my favorites then we have uh, 
The other big set are the uh, Stadler, uh, it doesn't say here, the Stadler dual tips. Uh, let's see if I can find one that isn't. Here we go. Oh no. Stadler, uh, okay, Stadler, it doesn't even say. <laughs> they are the Stadler dual tips. I think they were 100 as well. They come with uh, one broad nib and one sort of fine liner nib, but it's not really. It's like a thin nib. And they are, um, they came a bit like uh, a weird quality. Oh, by the way, the uh, Fibra colors also have like a broader nib like that. But the, um, yeah, these came a bit, uh, uh, so there was like some quality variance, so to say. And uh, not with them being dry, but being too saturated. So sometimes when you started coloring the water, the, like not the water, the color would just drop out of the marker. Which I mean, yeah, <laughs> it was a bit uh, not that uh, perfect, so to say. Um, so that, but still, really good uh, price for, uh, I mean, I like those. I uh, especially like some of the colors I really like. And then the third big set are the uh, Faber-Castell connector pens. They look like this. They have like a smaller nib than the other two. And these are also come in really nice colors. They have like, uh, I especially like the uh, military green colors, I guess. Um, like the more earthy greens. Here we go. These are like some of my favorite greens and a lot of them have already run out. So yeah. So those are the three big sets. And then I have filled it up with, uh, I mean, there's some, some miscellaneous markers, but mostly there are some koi coloring brush pens there are some pit pens faber castell pit pens i'm not sure i'm not sure <laughs> uh, there are if i like those but uh, they are fine uh, some tombows as well um, and then there are a few <laughs> really short little weird pens from an old uh, art set I got when I was like a kid. And some of them are still alive. Yeah, what more do we have here? We have a few Stabilo pens, a few, what is this even? Crelando? I don't know, those were like smaller sets that I couldn't resist. Uh, there's also a sponge hiding here. So this is like good for uh, watercolor and I think that's the water based markers uh, the connector pens I mean if you ask me that's the right way to do it like buy a big set of 100 uh, uh, budget pens uh, when it comes to budget uh, like water based markers and then add a few uh, like tombos or pit pens or whatever in a color that you are sort of missing, I guess. Uh, especially in budget sets, usually you're missing the more um, muted neutrals. And the like pale blues can also be missing. Like these are, see how many like bright blues I have? And then compare it to like gray blues that I actually, actually liked using. These are barely used. <laughs> But these I love, these are like a mixture of greys and blues. Um, some of them are in the wrong direction, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the markers. Let's see if I can put this back. All right. Okay, then let's move on to the pencil sets. So let's start with pencil cases that I have on my actual desk. We have the ink tens with a few missing ones that I'm using right now. Actually, let me put them back. It's not as if I won't know which ones they are. It's like, it's probably paints gray and yeah, iron blue. <laughs> Those are the two that are some of my favorites. But yeah, these are well used. This one is a bit, uh, I think this is the one that gave me, like, the only one that gave me trouble and, like, I had to uh, sharpen quite a bit. 
and then <laughs> this one is actually that used. I think it's uh, no, it's the ink black. Okay, I thought it would be the um, indigo, but yeah, no. These are my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful ink pens pencils that live on my desk. Then here we have a pencil case with my graphite tints, which I also adore. Yeah, well used. And a few um, Albrecht Durer pencils. And these were, I especially like bought some colors that are paler. Uh, because the ink tents which I otherwise use have quite bright colors but I was missing like you know a pale yellow a pale pink a really like a magenta pink a few greens uh, light blues this brown is I'm been using as crazy like crazy from the like from the beginning yeah then we have my trusted Polychromos. These are my <laughs> eternal love. Uh, yeah, I use them a lot. Uh, this is definitely not. Uh, it's 120 here, and a lot of them have been like, you know, I've already used them up. Uh, you'll see, I have kept the small like studs, so you'll see them later on. But yeah, right now the. Uh, here the indigo is definitely like seeing somewhere. See here, this is the one of the most used colors. Um, yeah, love these, love these so much. Okay, then we have my newest edition. Uh, these are the Dervant pastel pencils, and I really like them. And I wanted them for such a long time, and I'm so happy to have them. So, yeah. Then we have... Come here. And this pencil case with... Oh yeah, this is my sort of budget pencils. These were the first... No, the second pencils I owned. And these are the... I really like these. I want more or I want like specific colors I don't want to buy the whole set but you know how it is with budget sets but these are called the uh, come on let's see if we can find one with actual text on it here uh, they are jolly uh, super stick kinderfest jolly pens I really like them um, they are they're really nice for budget pencils and especially this color over here this little blue is like the best blue ever. <laughs> I really love it, but now it's too small. And I can't figure out how to use my pencil holder. <laughs> I like this little blue as well. Uh, but yeah, so these are... Uh, I love these pencils, but they are too small now. Then we have... Yeah, I when I won a competition by Milly Marotta, I got this really nice Faber-Castell uh, Gold Faber Aqua pencils. Uh, which are a set of water soluble pencils, uh, watercolor pencils, I guess, which I really like. Then we have a few of the Crelando Artist Color pencils. Uh, these were kind of budget ones, but I quite like them. There is one Faber Castell uh, Graphite Aquarelle pencil. I bought a set of those a while ago. Uh, here are some metallic polychromos. And then we have a set of the Faber-Castell uh, pastel pencils, which are new ones as well. And yeah. Then we have another pencil case of... Okay, yeah. So here we have a few more... Crelando budget pencils and we have my Prisma colors which I hate <laughs> I am not a friend with my Prisma colors they mostly remain untouched at the bottom of the pencil case pile and then we have two more pencil cases here 
Oh yeah, these were my first pastel, uh, pastel pencils. They are a budget set called Soft Pastel Joconda Koinor? Really? Okay. Yeah, it says Koinor. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what I have, but I mean, they they were kind of cheap. Uh, I uh, yeah, These colors are a bit too bright for most of what I do, but I have used them quite a bit when I first, when at first I got them in the uh, Color Me Circus coloring book especially. But yeah, let's see, let's put this back. And here we have my Dervent colors. Love these, need to use them more. Here are a few doublets of my graphic tints and a few Albrecht Durer pencils that I don't use because they're too bright. And then also two miscellaneous water based watercolor pencils and a few other watercolor pencils. These are the Derwent watercolor pencils. I think I got these from my mother again. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just put these pencil cases back. Go. All right. And these all live in a box on my desk. I have a kind of big desk. You don't think it in my videos because everything is so crowded in, but uh, hey. <laughs> That's how it goes. Uh, not anything here, I think. Oh yeah, here's a nib for my Derwent Pastella, or Derwent Eraser, I forgot that. All right, here are a few pencil brushes, or what it's called. There's a rubber there, it shouldn't be there. I won't ever find it if it's in here. There we go. You live over there. Didn't I have a brush that was like, there we go. Maybe you guys should live in here. Meh. Something like that. Okay, then we have a few stickles or budget stickles in some case. This is like a pearl effect glue. I think it's not the official stickles. It's uh I think this is Pandora brand. Pandora is like the uh, hobby shop downtown. Uh, I think all of these are. Yeah. But yeah. Let's see. We we'll all live in here. There we go. Do I have anything here? Nope, just some D and D stuff. Uh, 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 uh. Here we have a few more. Here are the other Posca pens. Okay, so let's put all the Posca pens together. So yeah, these are the big ones I have. I don't like those, and they are a bit too scratchy. Oh, I have a. Oh, this is just an Orlando, but this one, like a calligraphy uh, pens. I bought a set once upon a time, thought I would teach myself calligraphy, but that's not happened. Still fun to have though. I do like, okay, this is not that much for coloring, but I do like, uh, you know, real pens like this. Uh, what's it called? Reservoir pens, maybe? I don't know. I like those. Okay, that's that shelf. Let's see. Then we have all that. Okay, now we do some climbing. Right. So, here we have a really nice box of uh, graphite. And I haven't used this for coloring. Um, I want to try, maybe not for coloring, but like, you know, just try, <laughs> just try drawing with it. 
there's like a big stick here, some different in different formats, um, rubber, a like sharpener, a paper, what's it called, like blender, yeah, and a few pens. Really like that. I'm so happy I got it. Then we have my uh, pastel crayons. They live in here. <laughs> it's an old tea box, a tea calendar box. Um, but uh, they used to be a bit more organized, but now they are living the dirty life. Still totally usable though, so you know. But this is like different sets. And uh, yeah, this is <laughs> this is how it goes. <laughs> uh, Uh, related to that, we have the fixative. Uh, this is just a, I don't know, uh, it's for the pastels, obviously. Uh, yeah. We have my really old <laughs> gouache tempera set from uh, like my sixth grade. <laughs> yeah, so, and here we go. That's that. In my old Prismacolor box we have, I don't even know what, oh yeah, the little knife set. This is not for coloring though. <laughs> this is stamps and knives. And I also bought a little linoleum uh, pad that I will be cutting out, making some stamps. Let's see how that goes. I haven't come to it yet, but uh, it'll come, it'll come. Then we have my very much loved Lyra aquacolors. And these should definitely live closer to me, like not up on the shelf. They should be down here with me. Uh, but these are like budget neo colors. Um, as far as I can tell, they are just as good. Uh, it's just that there's fewer colors, so they don't feel that <laughs> premium. <laughs> but uh, they are really nice. I really like this uh, yeah, yellow ochre, this blue. Use that a lot. And, uh, you know, you can do a lot of nice stuff with these colors, just mixing them up. So that's why I haven't bought the Neo colors yet. Because with these, I don't need them. That doesn't stop me from wanting them, though. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> but yeah. All right, we are not done yet because now we're moving into my like under the desk. I have a few drawers, and I don't really know what I have in them. So you know, I'm on the adventure as well here. All right, the things I do digging out all the drawers. Here's an empty pencil case. Hooray! Uh, I think this is the one the uh, Emily Marotta's nice pencils came in. Um, definitely find a use for that someday. Uh, we have another set of pencils. This is a set of pencils that I don't like. They are the Marco Raffin, I think. Um, yeah, it's a cheap budget set. They're really hard, uh, not that pigmented. They live in the drawers, in the shameful, shamefully hidden. Uh, this is my palette for when I use acrylic paint. Um, so this is uh, just a plate, obviously. Um, we have another set of a few gouache colors. Another set of acrylic paint. This one is matte. Uh, my most hated medium. <laughs> um, the oil pastels. Uh, this is actually kind of a nice set. It wasn't, it's not like a cheap set, but uh, it has a lot of nice colors. Um, and I've tried using them and they are not my thing, I think. I might have to give them another try though, as with everything. 
and then we have in here we have a few this is my when I started out using uh, ink tents these were this was a set of 12 that I bought and I love them so much that I bought the 72 set so yeah so these ones are waiting <laughs> probably forever <laughs> like let's be real uh, these last so long that there's no way like I've used the hell out of those uh, ink tests that I have in my big cancel pencil case and I'm not even close to uh, having to replace them so yeah here's more acrylic paints these are I think these are glossy uh, and then we have these little case here where I think I keep miscellaneous pencils and oh yeah okay so I had a set of uh, I had a set of I started out with a set of like what is it 36 maybe I don't know what the numbers exactly are but I think it was like 36 or 24 maybe or the one above 24 uh, set of uh, polychromos and then I went to the next level of like 72 set of polychromos and it's not until this Christmas that I actually bought the 120 set that I'm using right now so quite a few of these are like you see um, still quite a lot of color in but when I bought a new set I uh, just to feel to look <laughs> For the feeling, I ch exchanged them all for the new ones. And then when those are used up, I'll return to these old ones. And here are my poor little <laughs> used up pencils. You can see I used the white a lot. Uh, some of the lighter colors as well. There are two of these, uh, or three even three uh, indigos, quite a few grays, browns as well, yeah, not that many yellows, not that many really bright colors here, but yeah, here's the one, the only Prisma color that I liked a lot, because it was similar to the Jolly Stick blue that I loved, so yeah, <laughs> my little dead little graveyard my pencil graveyard here we go these kind of rags I use that a lot for uh, when I color with watercolors and stuff uh, I use paper as well but uh, it's kind of nice to have a rag it feels really uh, artistry <laughs> I don't know <laughs> artistic that's the word or adverb or whatever okay um here are my most hated pencils ever, the uh, Stadler Norris, I think it's Stadler Norris Club. I, uh, these were my first pencils, they were horrible, I hate them with all my heart, I don't recommend them to your worst enemies. Um, yeah, <laughs> just horrible, <laughs> they're so uh, hard and they barely have any pigment and they look quite nice and this is uh, this is not even my beginning set that one was more used up this is a later set i don't even know why i have it but okay uh, yeah and then here we have a few more stickles let's see we have a gold and a red and a green and these are actual stickles wait are they just like that okay maybe maybe the ones i had before were also just i don't even know uh, and now we're done. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, I have one and again, once and again used some nail polish as well. But uh, that's more the exception than the rule. Uh, but yeah, that's that. That's all my coloring supplies, I think. Unless you count washi tapes as well. But I'm not going to go into my washi tape collection because then we will really be here until Christmas. Alright, so that's that for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.